Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair. And this time I was uh, wondering what will um, I mean what will happen if I uh, use I mean normally I use uh, isopropyl alcohol 99% to clean aperture plates and um, it works absolutely great sometimes I also use uh, not very often, but I use uh, lighter fluid. But uh, one of you out there uh, asked me what, uh, well, what about using uh, acetone? Well, I was thinking, uh, yeah, taking an old lens with some plastic uh, aperture blades and uh, see what, what actually would happen. I mean, I know what to use uh, with the isopropyl alcohol yeah i know that but um, as i know i've tried not on plates but something other plastic it will soften the plastic and uh, in that way destroy it so uh, what will happen if we take those very very thin uh, aperture plates this is from a Canon, uh, a really damaged Canon uh, lens. Uh, so, um, yeah, let's go into it. I will compare two different, I mean, the acetone and the isopropyl alcohol 99%. And simply take some of the blades and jump them into a small barrel and see what's happened. Could be interesting. <laughs> Just a <laughs> Uh, compare the two. So I think I will, um, yeah, we we'll just take apart the the aperture assembly here, uh, which is made of, yeah, hundred percent plastic. There are small tabs around here that hold the assembly in place. I mean, the aperture assembly is actually working as it should. I mean, I've taken out the the other parts, but um, I'll just press the small tabs here you can see to open it so there is another one here and the rest over here so now not let it fall apart so it looks something like that yeah you can see it's a bit messy in here so there probably has been some dirt and dust and things in here now let's get into the blades and take out the this ring that actually moved the blades away with that and as you can see the blades here are actually made of 100% plastic and we take if we uh, take a little magnet a small one and we put it on to the blades and nothing will really happen if we compare to a Nikon lens like this one, <laughs> uh, another one, uh, the blades will be very magnetic, as you can see. So it doesn't really matter what you, what kind of, um, or you use acetone or isopropyl alcohol on those uh, metal blades, it doesn't really matter. But what will happen if we take just a test take one blade at a time and simply fill in well I know what will happen with this one but uh, will it be that bad if we use um, acetone on the other one well <laughs> so it will be completely swim around here yeah there is something <clears throat> on the blade so no matter what a little more could have so so we can swim around there now next we take the acetone and what will happen who knows I don't I'm not quite sure because I'm not so uh, familiar with using acetone on plastic I mean, I've tried, but 
I know it will uh, damage some plastic parts and we can just let it suck in maybe they are safe enough who knows but uh, we'll just let them stay there for a short time so I can wipe away all the stuff here well a little messy so and remember when you work with acetone um, you should be very safe on what uh, what will happen I mean in this case it could be different in another lens I mean we could also take this part and put it in and see what's happened um, who knows what uh, happened in this case it's interesting to make that kind of experiment sometimes So this will go here. Whew. Stinks a little, but um, not put your nose in <laughs> into it. Well, maybe it has to stay there a little longer. Uh, who knows? But uh, it looks like. I mean, some kind of plastic is not so good. On. Um, on acetone and some others are I mean better so it's, let's see what's happened here well not really much but maybe it has to stay there any longer and what will happen to this one well not really anything it will just stay as it is but uh, if the if the other blade will stay there any longer it probably will soften the plastic well as you can see if I bend it a little if it's not that good it, it, it looks like it it uh, soften it a bit it's definitely different than the other one and it has it has only been there for just a few seconds but uh, maybe you can see there is it's a bended a little so maybe if I let it stay there for five minutes or so, I mean, the superpure alcohol, nothing will happen, not at all. But um, if I let it, let it, uh, the other stay there, let's say five minutes. Or so, um, if I have a watch, so see, yeah, let us let us stay there for five minutes. I will speed up the process uh, about this so um, nah, not the best one it can stay here so uh, I mean some plastic parts they are not good at acetone okay let's see what uh, <laughs> they have been there yeah five minutes for the one and the other <clears throat> I think the isopropyl alcohol nothing will happen even if I bend it a little see it's st straight well you can just put it in again but the other one 
I mean, you can see there is definitely something happened here because the surface here is going to be more grays. And uh, if you see what's happened here, in the area of what the... Um, see? It's simply break. I mean, the other eye over here is, is uh, rigid. But this one that has been into the acetone is definitely uh, melted, as you can see. Simply break, uh, break apart. But what about the blade itself? Well, <laughs> um, is it bended or so? Well, not really much. Not as much as I thought. Um, if we bend it like this, well, it's uh, it will simply be straight. So the blade itself is not that that uh, damaged, but the uh, plastic part, it's simply um, simply uh, melted. yeah it's not really it's not really good so you can see the 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 acetone simply do something i mean this eye that has not been into to acetone is a uh, is fine even if i press on it no matter what but the other one over here it was really bad on the edge here so the 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 plastic will simply damage it. I mean, the acetone will dam damage the plastic. It's uh, make it more just like glass. It will just break very easy. But it's not the same up here. It's much harder. But the part that has been into acetone will simply uh, soften very easy but not up here it's really I mean you can you can bend it but it will not break but the blade itself I was surprised uh, that nothing happened but of course this blade is one thing it could be different in other lenses so uh, yeah, it's not good if we compare to, oh, go away, <laughs> it will stick to my gloves, no, but the other one, the other blade, it, uh, nothing will happen, it will just be as it is, but still, of course, <clears throat> You will not have the plates in in none of the solvent uh, for very long time. So this is just to tell that uh, well, you can in some cases use acetone, but uh, I will recommend it the isopropyl alcohol. It's just what I experienced. Um, I mean. Lighter fluid, I could also have used uh, lighter fluid. This is just ordinary uh, Zippo. But, um, and it does not uh, destroy anything. But the acetone, well, take care of it. I mean, this is safe on plates and aperture assembly. So no, no problem with that, as long as you I mean, there's no idea to have it in a barrel for maybe 24 hours or so. It's not that, but um, yeah, take care of when using acetone. Mm-hmm. No. Um, I hope this uh, maybe can 
and uh, make it more clear what will happen you see this this is still very rigid but the part that has been into acetone is also getting more gray you can see the black uh, as it was up here it's simply gone because of the the way acetone works so um, yeah but that was uh, actually all for me this time so hope you enjoy or can use the info maybe yeah, that's all. See you sooner. Bye-bye.